This conference will now be recorded. <clears throat> well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the City of Warrenville City Council regular meeting for Monday, February 1st, 2021. In accordance with Governor Pritzker's disaster proclamation, Section 70 of the Illinois Open Meetings Act, 5 ILCS 120 slash 7 paren E paren and in determination by the mayor of the city of Warrenville, this meeting will be held virtually. Persons wishing to provide public comment are strongly suggested or encouraged to submit their written comments via email at info at warrenville.il.us at 5 p.m. the day of the meeting. <clears throat> and please note again, this meeting is being recorded. May I have a roll call, please? Alderman Anderson. Alderman Berry? Here. Alderman Davalos? Here. Alderman Goodman? Here. Alderman Krishal? Here. Alderman Widener? Here. Alderman Wilson? Here. Alderman Ashauer is excused. Thank you, Emily. Um, did you want to go through the staff also? Forgot staff. I'm sorry. Okay. Mayor Brummel. Here. <laughs> Treasurer Brenner. Here. City Attorney Brooke Lenneman. Here. City Administrator John Coakley. Here. Assistant City Administrator Christina White. Here. Police Chief Ray Toronto. Here. Finance Director Kevin Dahlstrand. Here. Community and Economic Development Director Ron Menzer. is absent, thank you. Public Works Director, Phil Kukler. Here. Yes. Natalia will be here in, in Ron's place tonight, sorry. Got to tell you that too? Yes, sir, you did, thank you. Like a well-oiled machine. All right, <clears throat> we managed to get through the roll call. It's a good start. Um, we're gonna do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance now. I invite you to join with us at wherever you are. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> this is the time that we set aside at every one of our meetings for citizens' comments. Um, we have three ways to do that. You can come in person as some choose to do, uh, you can email us or you can stay on the call and speak when um, asked to do so. We'll begin with those that are present at City Hall and wish to make a comment tonight. We have one person, Mr. Bob Siebert. Bob, I know you know the drill. Okay, should I start again? Bob Siebert, Albright. Last week, there was a discussion at the committee meeting on Burke Avenue. What was the reason that part of the street was never completed? This was not addressed. The reason, very simply, was an appellate court case decision. The property owner who has since passed filed a lawsuit against the city of Warrenville many years ago. The property owner claimed that she owned the property and that there was no valid right of way. Before the city of Warrenville existed, the road was plotted by the township. This is where the problem arises. The township law stated 
that if the road was not completed in seven years, the property would return to the adjacent property owners. The appellate court ruled in favor of the woman. Incidentally, she represented herself at the appellate court. They stated that she probably knew more than any other person about township law. This is not an isolated incident. It is seen in many areas of Old Town Warrenville. In fact, my rental property on Warrenville Road, the survey shows that I own half of Warrenville Road. Thank you, Bob. <clears throat> we have no one else here present. Do we have any email comments for this evening? Uh, apparently not. Do we have anyone on the line who wishes to make a comment this evening? Very good. This would be the last opportunity right now for citizens' comments. There will not be another opportunity for the public to comment in the balance of the meeting. We will move on to official and staff comments, beginning with the mayor. Just a couple of things this evening. Uh, one about COVID-19 vaccination. Uh, the DuPage County Health Department is currently registering and vaccinating frontline essential workers and all those over 65 living and working in DuPage County. Uh, to register for weekly updates and appointment scheduling, visit the Health Department's website at dupagehealth one word, dot org, forward slash COVID-19 vaccine, one word. That's dupagehealth.org, forward slash COVID-19 vaccine. Everyone is encouraged to get vaccinated as soon as it is their turn. Until we are all vaccinated, remember please to continue to observe the three W's, wash your hands, wear facial coverings, and watch your distance. Um, you may have noticed we had a little bit of a snowstorm this weekend. Um, the city experienced actually a significant snowfall. Um, a big thank you goes out to all the residents who shoveled, plowed, and otherwise cleared sidewalks and fire hydrants throughout the city for themselves, for their neighbors, and for the community. Thank you for being community-minded and being generous enough to take that on to do for others who couldn't do it for themselves. Uh, it is very, very helpful to have uh, for residents as well as emergency responders to have cleared sidewalks and especially the fire hydrants uh, that they're available in case they are needed uh, for emergency responses as well as recreational use. Oh, that would be for the sidewalks, not the fire hydrants. Okay, I'm glad I clarified that because it might have caused the problem. Um, that's all I have this evening, clerk. Yes, Mayor, thank you. Now that we've gotten through the snowstorm, I just thought I'd let everybody know that Warrenville and Bloom has ordered the flowers for the bridge planters and the hanging baskets and the planters on the prairie path. So spring is coming. Don't give up. Thanks. And every day is about an hour longer than at its shortest time. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Treasurer. Larry, are you with us? Thank you. Any comments? No, just happy to be, happy to be here. Okay, thank you. Uh, the alderman will go through the list as we always do, beginning with Alderman Anderson. Uh, no questions or comments today. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Barry? I have nothing, thank you. Thank you, Alderman Davalos. I just have a couple quick things. Um, this was an oversight on my part last week, um, but I just wanted to wish Alderman Barry a happy birthday on January 23rd. It was one of those decade birthdays. I'll let you guys work on that. And I think I forgot because I was just so excited to celebrate COVID-like with her, and I probably forgot. But she is a champion of Ward 4, and I just want to say how honored and delighted I am to serve with her. So. Happy birthday, belated birthday, Claire. And um, the second thing I wanted to say is we're going to vote tonight 
on Tim Cosgrove as the chair of the Plan Commission. And I just want to just take a minute to say thank you to um, our previous chairman, John, John Davis. Um, he had, I won't go into how much he has meant to the city and how much he's done, but I literally learned what I know about the Plan Commission, which I knew nothing to begin with from John Davis and going to their committee meetings and listening and watching and figuring out that they do a lot of wonderful things and they do it very well. I don't think all plan commissions work quite as easily, um, easily, I mean, well as this. And I just like to thank him. And he, he coined a phrase for me and maybe he got it somewhere else, but it's, I think about it a lot. Um, on one of the plan commission meetings, he referred to Warrenville as, um, a city with a necklace of green around it. And he meant the forest district, forest preserves and all of our green space. And I am, I'm just delighted. I love the phrase and I've used it often. And so I just want to thank him for his service. He really has been an amazing part of, of our city. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. I would echo those comments. And uh, just a reminder, John is not retiring. He's going to stay on the plan commission. So we're going to get the benefit of his experience and his wisdom for a while yet. He's just stepping back from the chairmanship. So John, we're glad you can stay with us for a while. And I'm glad that we have Tim to take over. I know you two have worked together for, uh, what is it, four decades now. Um, so you'll continue to work together and uh, um, I hope for some time in the future. And uh, Alderman Vera, do you wish to let us know exactly which decade you're celebrating? <laughs> uh, let's see. I was corrected by my sister. I thought I was. I thought I was in my seventh, but she said no. Believe it or not, you're in your eighth. <laughs> it's like this makes me feel even worse. <laughs> so I really don't talk about it too much. <laughs> but everybody at work was like, "Wow, it's your birthday! How old are you?" And I finally had to admit how old I was. And everybody was like, oh, oh wow. Because <laughs> everybody's about 35. <laughs> so it used but it, to was it. A, it, it was a it was a fun time. I, I, I enjoyed myself. Thank you. Good. And well, happy birthday. Happy birthday from all of us. Thank you very much. Alderman Goodman. Yes, I have a couple of things. Um the Fermilab Community Advisory Board had its meeting on Thursday, and there are some announcements to pass on. Uh, first of all, the Fermilab Family Open House this year is going to be virtual. Uh, a little bit of a different look than in past years when thousands of people descend on Fermilab for tours. You may not get to go and see the buffalo up close, but um, they are planning a multi-day virtual event starting Wednesday, February 10th, and concluding Sunday. February 14th. They will have lectures about international women in STEM. There will be a Mr. Freeze uh, cryogenics show, um, virtual tours of the Cosmic Ray and the Quantum Laboratories, Fermilab trivia contests, and panel discussions about the medical contributions that come from physics research, the history of art and science at Fermilab, all sorts of interesting, family friendly, fun, and uh, science related activities. So you can sign up on their website, fnal.gov, um, and they also have a Facebook Live and a YouTube Live channel where you can see a lot of these things even if you don't register in advance. So please take advantage of these uh, fun activities and events. Uh, secondly, um, there are increased needs for a lot of other worthy uh, groups um, who are having tough time doing fundraisers under COVID conditions. Uh, but the one I wanted to promote in particular is the WDSRA. I don't know if everyone here is familiar with it, the Western DuPage Special Recreation Association. They have an annual bash in February every year, but it will be online this year. You can make your donations on the WDSRA.org website um, and your donations will be matched if you make a donation between now and February 15th. They'll also have a silent auction online and um, lots of other activities. And those are you know, wonderful people to work with, a wonderful group to support. They do a lot of good in our community. Um, I also had intended, uh, although maybe I, I will not now, I had intended to uh, remove item 6N from the consent agenda just, just so I could uh, discuss 
Chairman Davis and his uh, contributions uh, over his many years as chairman of the Plan Commission. And yes, he's not leaving the Plan Commission. It's not time to have a retirement party, but it's certainly a moment worthy of commemoration. Uh, myself, I was able to work with John on the Plan Commission for six years. Um, I guess looking back on it, that's 15 years ago now, but he had already been on the Plan Commission for at least that long before I began. And I think he'll still be growing strong for years. I certainly hope so. His expertise and his professionalism running the meetings have uh, been a tremendous asset to our community for decades. And even though he will still be present and not running the meetings anymore, we'll still get some of his architectural expertise. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be quite the same. So we really thank him for his hard work and his um, many years uh, on behalf of Warrenville. So thank you, Chairman Davis. We'll miss you at that post. Thank you, Alderman. <clears throat> And I got my start in city government under John's tutelage also two years on the plan commission uh, 24 years ago. So I owe John also. A lot of us do. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Crishaw. I, I have nothing tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Alderman Widener. Yep, good evening. I'd also like to congratulate and say thanks to chairman davis for his many years of service i too uh, learned a lot from john as a plan commission member when we worked on a small little project called cantera and um, i remember his uh, great leadership style and his ability to communicate and uh, was able to negotiate many things that ended up benefiting uh, the warrenville community so thank you john and uh, also wanted to recognize that it's the start of Black History Month and we'll be celebrating many ways that Black Americans have contributed to our community. And it's uh, really appropriate, I thought, that uh, we kick off the Inclusion, Diversity, Equity Commission and begin our work and uh, establish our mission and objectives with that group. So it's uh, nice we will be meeting for the first time during this month. So thank you. That's all the comments I have. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Wilson. I have no further comments this evening. Very good. Thank you, Alderman. We'll move on then to the city administrator. I have nothing to add tonight. Thank you. Okay. And city attorney, Brooke. I have no comments. Thanks, Mayor. Very good. Thank you. We'll move on to the approval of the agenda. Um, you have memos indicating a couple of changes. We need to remove item K from the agenda and change uh, item L. Is that correct? Just just the backup for item L. The motion doesn't need to change. Okay. All right. So whoever makes the motion, could you please make note of that? And uh, would uh, Alderman Widener like to make the motion to approve the agenda for this evening? I'll try. I uh, move to approve the agenda for the February 1st 2021 City Council regular meeting with the removal of item K and the adjustment uh, to the information on item L. Second, Alderman Davalos. Great, a motion and a second. Um, may I have a roll call, please? Okay, sure. Alderman Berry. Aye. Alderman Widener. Aye. Alderman Krishal. Aye. Alderman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Goodman. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Davalos. Aye. Thank you. The agenda is approved as amended for this evening. We have two sets of minutes that need approval also. Alderman Widener. Move to approve the minutes of the January 18th, 2021 City Council regular meeting and to approve the minutes of the January 25th, 2021 Public Safety and Finance meeting. Second. Oh, yeah. oh. Second by Alderman Wilson. Any discussion or question on those minutes? Hearing none, may I have another roll call, please? Alderman Krishal. Aye. 
Alderman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Barry. Aye. Alderman Goodman. Aye. Alderman Davalos. Aye. Alderman Widener. Aye. Thank you. Motion carries and the minutes are approved as presented. Consent agenda for this evening, item 6A. Accept plan commission recommendation, waive second reading and pass ordinance 02021-03, approving variations from the zoning ordinance to reduce the parking setback and the number of parking spaces at 28W265 Warrenville Road. B, accept plan commission recommendation, waive second reading and pass ordinance 02021-04, approving a special use permit to allow an open sales lot at 28 West 265 Warrenville Road. <clears throat> Excuse me. C, accept Mayor Brummel's recommendation and pass resolution R2021-06, extending the duration of the March 16th, 2020 declaration of emergency until the adjournment of the next regular special or emergency meeting of the city council. D, accept senior civil engineer Hawking's recommendation and pass resolution R2021-07, approving the reduction of the public improvement security bond for the Everton project. E, accept senior civil engineer Hawking's recommendation and pass resolution R2021-08, approving the completion of the required public improvements associated with the 2014 Liberty Mutual Project, releasing the security bond and waiving the project's two-year maintenance period requirement. F, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation and award $93,769.18 in hotel tax grant <clears throat> funding to various applicants for FY 2022 per the Tourism and Arts Commission memo dated January 14th, 2021. G, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation and award $10,000 in hotel tax funding for FY 2022 for upgrades and repairs to the Warren Tavern building, separate from the hotel tax grant program. <clears throat> H, receive public, uh, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation and award $20,000 in hotel tax funding for FY 2022 to the Warrenville Historical Society for costs related to the part-time museum director slash curator. I, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation, deny the request to waive installation of all required public improvements and direct staff and the city attorney to draft a subdivision improvement agreement reflecting the detailed staff analysis and conclusions in the memo from Public Works Director Kukler and Senior Planner Doma Vasova dated January 20th, 2021. J, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation and direct staff to work with the city attorney to negotiate a five-year lease agreement with Exxon Enterprise Incorporated for body-worn cameras. L, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation and approve the City Council Committees and Aldermanic Liaison Assignments as presented. M, accept Public Safety and Finance Committee recommendation and authorize the one-time issuance of a city-branded polo shirt to the city volunteers who would normally be invited to the city's volunteer appreciation dinner and also one apparel item for each of the newly elected and appointed city officials during the 2021, <clears throat> during 2021 who were not in office in 2020. And accept Mayor Brummel's recommendation and approve the appointment of Tim Cosgrove to serve as chairman of the plan commission for a term to expire on January 19th, 2022. O, receive and file minutes of the Environmental Advisory Commission meeting held on December 15th, 2020. P, receive and file um, report of invoices paid up to January 27th, 2021 in the amount of $68,947.06. And Q, authorize expenditures for invoices due on or before February 16th, 2021 in the amount of $40,000. $121.17. Alderman Widener. 
I move to approve the agenda as presented by Mayor David Brummel. Second, Alderman Davalos. Motion and a second. Thank you. May I have a roll call, please? Alderman Goodman. Aye. Alderman Widener. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Berry. Aye. Alderman Davalos. Aye. Alderman Kreschel. Aye. Motion carries and the agenda is approved. Uh, we have nothing under regular agenda, nothing under unfinished business. Uh, no new business is listed. We have no need for a closed session. We do, however, need a motion to adjourn. Alderman Davalos, I move to adjourn. Alderman Widener seconds. Motion and a second. Our final roll call for the evening, please. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Berry. Aye. Alderman Davalos. Aye. Alderman Goodman. Aye. Alderman Krishal. Aye. Alderman Widener. Aye. Alderman Wilson. Aye. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Alderman Anderson, that was a lot better than your first meeting, was it not? <laughs> hey, Alderman Barry can run a, a nice meeting. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all. And thank you for those of you at home paying attention to our meeting this evening. We'll see you next week at the same time. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you.